we need three things. The form that we want to auto fill out multiple times, a spreadsheet with the information or the software to create such a spreadsheet. For example, I'm using LibreOffice Calc and we need bulk PDF. I'm gonna download the zip. This is portable, doesn't need admin rights. Same for LibreOffice, they have a portable version, doesn't need admin rights. Just download it, start it and just accept everything. And then you will have a folder where you can start LibreOffice Calc. I'm just gonna create some fictional information. And besides the data, I recommend you include a file name column. This is ideally a combination that is unique. I'm going to go for exercise title combined with the participant designation. There we go. And just stretch it down. All right, perfect. So this we're going to save. And here the format is important. I'm going to go with the XLSX format, sample one. And yes, we're going to use that format. Now let's just extract bulk PDF. And here I'm going to start bulk PDF. All right, it's free and open source. That's very nice, just like LibreOffice as well. And now we're gonna select some files. We don't have any configurations yet, so we're gonna just start next. And we're gonna select spreadsheet first. The spreadsheet is the XLSX file. All right, seems to have properly understood what columns exist. Next, and now we're gonna select the PDF. And this one is FormDoc, okay. And now we have to assign which field from the PDF is being filled with which column from the spreadsheet. So your name, I'm gonna select uh, use value from data source and it's gonna be Y name. And then part design, that's gonna be part design. It really all depends on uh, how the PDF file was created. I do have a, a video in which I'd show how to create such PDF forms that might help you as well. Okay, next. And now we have to define how the file name is created. Uh, I'm just gonna call this X. We're gonna use a file name column, which I specifically created for this. And because we don't have people of the same name, the same project, uh, we're gonna not have doubles. We're gonna not have overwrites, but the program would warn us of these. If we, for example, just try this. Well, first of all, we have to have an output path. Let's select one. I just created a new folder for that. So if we try it like that, where every output file would be named the same, then it would warn us the file names are not unique. So I'm gonna add this. But even if now there would be a warning, we could also add row number, then everything would be unique. But I don't need that. Okay, so now let's just press finish. Four files and done. And here are the filled out files. All right, we have the uh, first name and we can see that these were not filled out. The radio boxes and check process were not filled out. So what we actually have to do is fill yes and no for the checkboxes. And for the radio boxes, we have to experiment. We have to figure out which numbers work. If we use this file, save it. And now we're gonna have to reload the spreadsheet. Let's first save a configuration. Save, gonna call this auto sample one. Go back, go back and select the spreadsheet again. Okay, and this happens. So we would have to select the PDF and redo all this. This is why we saved the configuration. We can just press load configuration and load it here, the .bulk PDF file, and it automatically loads the files and it refreshes them as well. Load the configuration and confirm. Let's look, okay, these were not filled. These worked and these worked. These didn't work and these didn't work. All right, and that means that the numbers in this line are correct for the second and third. So two and three, we can use two and three. So two for yes and three for no, for whatever reason. Don't ask me why. Might have to do with how often we copy pasted things. You might have to just uh, test it to find out. Let's save us, start bulk PDF again, load configuration and confirm and OK. And now these are filled out, and these are filled out, and these are filled out, and these are filled out. Fantastic! I hope this helps. Give this video a like, subscribe for more tricks for data processing in the future, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!